Hello, an InfoLocom setup for a ragdoll created with this wizard and uh, with the Ethan hierarchy. But you can use it also for any kind of ragdoll you want. It could be a spider or a cow or a machine or anything. So I will change this ragdoll to a non standard ragdoll and apply the, the Anim follow scripts and show you how it works. So I say that I, for example, want to the right hand, I want to add uh, a glider and stuff so that the hand also is uh, part of the, of the ragdoll. So I add the collider and I add the rigid body and I change the size of the collider. Something that you like more closely fits the hand like that, and also I add a uh, character joint, and I assign the parent as the connected body, and set up the limits, the rotation limits, the way I want. I won't do that now, but you can set them up. And that's it. Now it is a standard, a non standard ragdoll. You see, the hand can wiggle about and do the ragdoll stuff. But now it's 12 rigid bodies and a character joint extra. So I do this. I take replaced joints, add it to the ragdoll. And the character joint is replaced with the configurable joints with the same rotational limits as you set up the character, character joint with. Or character joint, I can't pronounce it. Um, also, now I can add the anim follow. And the anim follow is 11 rigid bodies as the standard from the get go. But I made a script that resizes the profile, resize profile and append the last number of the profile to the rest of the entries. So I take resize profiles, drag and drop it onto the ragdoll, and we now have tw size 12 and the last entry is repeated 100 here, 1 here. And you may want to tune the P profiles. And uh, if I run the script, so, uh, that will fall because I haven't assigned the master. And because I haven't assigned the master, the other stuff I wanted to show you doesn't work either. Assign the master, says so master not assigned. Assign the master. So, let's see which transforms are which. Uh, and the left hand here now that I just added is in uh, is element 9. So, I see that element 9 is 30. And I want to uh, make the right arm also 30. Right form. So, I I have to manually adjust this to 30 if I want the right arm to have the same strength as the left arm. Uh, and the hand goes 30 by luck, and that's a good number for, for the hand. So now it works. And you could, of course, also just add the, the regular control script to the Ragdoll, and this should be a working system now. No, it shouldn't, because you also have to do this. You have to do this. Put the ragdoll in the same position as the master. So, now. 
ragdoll working with a hand that follows the animation and is a ragdoll. And of course, the ragdoll fell behind that law. In, no. That's about it for any ragdoll you want. Thank you for watching.